And so here we are at Jeff's again, and on his workbench is this supercharger, or at least part of a supercharger, showing the vanes that interlock. In, impellers. Impellers, which then force the air in to the engine. And this is an Eaton M90 90. in pieces. And the reason why it's in pieces is because you're modifying it with a brand new end piece. End case. End case, thank you. And, that, end case, and that'll go on there, and then on top of there goes something else. An adapter ring to fit that. Okay. And to, then, to suit. To suit. To suit the original, well, the original snout off the Sprintex that I made some time ago rather than trying to make another one of them yeah. to suit it's that it's easy just to make an yeah, adapter plate it was easy to do that and okay and inside here look we've got a bearing and bearing yeah and the reason we've got a bearing in there is because there's a shaft that comes through here which is used to drive the supercharger from the engine with a cush drive on it yeah yeah you see small it here. small cush drive okay let's just look at that cush drive and it's got these little sort of turret affair oops sorry I wasn't pointing at pebbles right. Okay, so it's got a sort of turret. I think, I think that's the correct term. Paddles, yeah. Paddles. And that's because it's got a cush drive to drive the end of this particular Voila. vein. Yeah. Like that. It sandwiches in between yeah. the other. Okay. So you've got a rubber cush drive. And this With whole a... thing's been done because it's going on because it's going on your brother's Z. Z. Well, whatever it is. Well, Z. it's a Z1000. You started out life as Z1000, but now seriously it's. Seriously modified Z1000. What is it now? A Z? What? 13? I think it's 1260. 1260. Supercharged, 1260, of course. Yeah. April head and all the rest of it. Yeah, so he's doing a yet another upgrade, another change, and this is it. And in the middle, oh, and over here, look, we've got another little bit of work for him. He's got his uh, air fuel ratio meter, and that's having a little billet cover made for it. All good stuff. Anything else we can say? Uh, so once that's done, and nope. that's on there, is that it? Or are you going to do some more work on less, this less, less talking, more work. Yeah, less talking, more work. More <laughs> tea drinking for me, I think. More tea drinking for me. Right, OK, so here we are a few days later, back at Jeff's workshop, and this end case has now been fastened to the main part the of the M90. Yeah, with the veins and so on. Yeah. And at the front here, you've let in a little window there for the oil Boarding level. for the oil level, yeah. yeah there's the... Um, Rubber mounted or cush drive, I should say. That's the original cush drive. Yes. It's slotted in. Yes. The shaft has to be 20 mil longer. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to do is, that, is. Is that the original shaft? Yeah, I'm going to. And that's not long enough? That's not long enough. So you've got this blank yeah. which you're going to machine back. I'm going to try and get the bearings further apart. Mm -hmm. So to support I think it there was a little bit of whip because they were quite close. Mm -hmm. They were only 10 mil apart, the yeah. two bearings. Okay. So. So here's one bearing in there. Well, that will be replaced uh, and it'll go further into the snout because yeah. I'm going to where it sat on this. It, it, it'll be sort of like that, won't yeah. it? Where the bearing sat on there with the spacer, I'm going to completely machine that off and put on the shaft one of them. Another so basically, bearing. that will be supporting there, there on yeah. the shaft. Right. I can I can pin that, drill that, and pin that. Mm -hmm. And so, I want to try and sprint. So, to be clear, that goes like that. Yep, yep. So you've got two bearings inside here rather than one. Yeah. So I, I want to try and bring them as far apart as, far as, possible. Apart as yeah, possible to, to get to give it the okay. Stability. And then the shaft's going to be machined back to I've fit. Machine that. Yep. And then at the end, of course, you're going to have a pulley, yep. which looks like something like that, perhaps. Or oh, is that the wrong mm -hmm. one? No, that's the right one. That's, that's the wrong yeah. one. It's got a key on it. Yeah. It's got so, a little. I've so got to cut be, a little keyway in it to yeah. suit the thing in the end. That, yeah, yeah. You can see that there. In in, so in that one. Like that, and then obviously then there's a drive pulley on the end of the crankshaft which mm -hmm. will drive this thing. Okay. But the sad news is about it all is it may be too big for the bike. <laughs> well, because you're building something such a one-off bike, or rather not you but your brother's building such a one-off bike. I think this is the third supercharger stride. The first one was too small. The second one was a Sprint, I Sprintex. Think, I think uh, they both don't work because he's trying to run them dry. Yeah. Well, and the efficiency is, well, to not be as blunt, as... I think spread, the, the Sprintex is a pretty much crap if you don't run any fuel through them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Well, that's what happens when you build a completely one-off bike. Mm -hmm. I mean, his build is, what, about a 10-year-long build. It's been changed and changed and changed again. It's very advanced for what he's doing at home in a shed. But um, I guess you have to do it before you know it's going to work or not. Mm -hmm. So this one might go in, going back in a draw. <laughs> <laughs> might end up going back, back in a draw with yet other superchargers. Oh, it'll end up going on one of these damn things here. Well. Oh, well, we never know. Sell okay. It to, sell it to some fool. Yes, like me. Anyway, my battery's about to go uh, dead, so we'll end it there.